hello assalamu alaikum today we will discuss uh, introduction of safe safe is the abbreviation of slab analysis by a finite element method in this lecture we will dis uh, just discuss the uji of inter uh, of uh, safe uji means user graphic interface of safe and uh, some basic terminologies that will be used in the safe uh, let's uh, start we will start a new model before discussing the uji uh, let's start the new model when we start a new model a uh, model initialization window will open and in this uh, window we have to select the design code uh, this is the version 2016 version and uh, it will not include the ac31819 so we will have to select the ac31814 and uh, this is the uh, design code and uh, after that we have to check the design preferences uh, to uh, modify design preferences we need to go to the modify two options here first we should have to select the course and uh, as per code it will uh, check the uh, value of phi tension control phi compression control and the phi here as well we can also modify these values as well uh, as per code uh, they, they will uh, vary for example if we select another code uh, the value will be changed like this this is the gamma steel gamma speed and gamma shear this is the requirement of the code so we need to uh, go for uh, ac31814 and ne in next tab we have to check the minimum cover of the slab uh, in this tab we can change the clear cover uh, from the top clear cover from the bottom that is 0 0.75 inches and preferred bar size will be number 6 uh, we can also modify this uh, bar size to uh, say we uh, need to uh, have uh, preferred bar size number 4 and uh, this is the inner stab layer and uh, these are all the uh, this is for the uh, pre-tension uh, pre-tensioning of when you uh, don't need to go for this we will uh, discuss in, in our next module as well when we discuss the pre-stressing uh, lecture and uh, minimum reinforcing is slab type for minimum reinforcement we can also modify the slab type as a one way or two way so we need to go to the two way slab and uh, now it is the next step that is the minimum cover for beams we can also modify the minimum cover as well these are the nominal values for the uh, cover uh, we can also change the preferred bar size here from uh, for fracture we need to select the say number six bars and we, uh, for preferred bar size in the shear we need to check the number three bars as well uh, again these are all tabs uh, used for the pre-testing and uh, now we P over T the pre-tension stress check and uh, we will limit ourselves to the uh, simple concrete so we will click ok over here this is the design preferences now we need to enter the project information to uh, we can also edit the project information uh, from here uh, we can modify these parameters as well and these parameters will be uh, shown in the uh, uh, detailing diagrams in the diagram that we will extract at the end of the uh, design after that we can also select the units as well at present uh, we have uh, uh, if we uh, hold the mouse at this tab the unit will be shown over here we can also modify the units these are the three basic units that can be used in the consistent unit we can select our own units as well so we need to check go for the uh, usd first click ok over here and uh, here there are uh, some predefined types of slabs as well that is a flat slab flat uh, slab perimeter beam these are the different pre uh, determined templates as well we need to go to the grid only option so we will go to grid option grid only option here we can also modify the grids as well there are the basic two uh, uh, parameters that we can define the grid of the in the safe as well that is the first one is the cartesian and second one is the cylindrical in cartesian coordinate system we need to enter uh, the number of grid lines along the x and y direction and grid spacing as well uh, and in the cylindrical we need to enter the number of grid lines long along radius and long theta uh, in uh, to differentiate these two coordinate system we can see that this diagram as well this is the cylindrical coordinate system in in which uh, we need to put the coordinate like p of r theta or phi and z direction and in the cartesian coordinate system we need to enter the values uh, from the reference point in uh, um, like this p of x y and z in, in space 
both are used to specify the point in a space but uh, the basic difference is that we need to put the value of uh, radius and theta as well and the next coordinate will be along the z direction this is the z plane and uh, this is the x plane and this is the y plane and we need to put the values in the r t uh, phi or theta or f z uh, form and in the cartesian coordinate system we need to just put the linear values linear distance from the, e, uh, the reference point that is the uh, there is the origin of that point so we will go for the cartesian coordinate system we need to select the grid or uh, say this is a uniform grid system in the uh, our next lecture we will uh, import data from the e tabs as well and we will use the data that we have designed uh, in our e tab section that we have previously we have uh, studied in uh, our previous lectures we can also uh, change the grid labels over here from label left to right that will start from the a and label right to left uh, it is our option that we can use that this is the uh, label of the grids in both x and y directions and now we can also edit the grid data over here like this uh, this is the almost uh, same uh, process as we have discussed in the e tabs as well uh, the same menu will uh, appear in the e tabs here are uh, again there are two types of uh, uh, grid system we can add, uh, modify it as an ordinate and as an spacing in an ordinate uh, the reference will be uh, entered from this point that will be considered as a zero and in the spacing the uh, spacing between consecutive two uh, grids will be specified <coughs> and when we click ok over here a new tab will be open here uh, in e tabs there were two uh, three tabs that this is the basic uh, user graphic interface of e tabs uh, of uh, safe uh, in e tabs uh, there are three windows uh, that uh, one is also a three dimensional uh, view as well we can also uh, get the three dimensional view in the safe as well to uh, uh, for this we have to go to the options and in options we need to go to the windows tab and we have to select these uh, type of options say uh, we will uh, check the two tile vertically and it will show the three uh, windows this is the plan view this is a 3d view and this is the model explorer this is the basic user graphic interface of e tab at the top of the tab there is a, a, a save 2016 written this is the color title bar and in the title bar the project name will be shown we have not uh, titled uh, our uh, present uh, um, model uh, when we uh, name it the name will appear over here this is called it is the title bar and after title bar there will be a menu bar in menu bar there are different uh, uh, menus that is file menu edit menu and view menu etc and up to the help menu as well below the menu bar there is a, a horizontal toolbar in horizontal toolbar there are different options that can uh, that uh, include the uh, zooming toolbar that has a view toolbars as well and this is called the standard toolbars <coughs> and uh, at the left side there is a vertical toolbar this is called the, also called the draw toolbar as well and it also includes the dimension dimensions uh, etc as well and in the after that we have an other window that is a model explorer that's this is the plan view and this is the 3d view and uh, at the bottom right corner we have units tab and this is a grid tab as well after a uh, grid tab there is a uh, uh, coordinates that will show uh, at the bottom of this uh, window that is called x y or z the way, uh, if we move the cursor over here the units will be will change in the in this tab as well and at the bottom left corner here uh, it will uh, show the uh, this tab will show you the uh, objects selected or uh, objects at which you are working during our safe <coughs> modeling and uh, the main uh, the next difference is uh, from the e tab is that when we move our cursor the cursor will also show you in the uh, three dimension uh, 3d view as well uh, as shown in the 3d view as uh, red that is it is shown it will move uh, when we move in the plane view as well that's all about the uji of save user graphic interface of save thank you